Hello, in this video tutorial we will be talking about Rhino's display modes and navigation tools. Rhino's default interface is composed of four windows called viewports, perspective, and three parallel views. You can maximize a viewport by double clicking on its title. You can iterate from one to the other by pressing down control and the tab key on your keyboard. To go back to the four view layout, double-click on the viewport title again. To rotate the perspective view, simply right-click with your mouse. To pan, press down Shift and right-click. There are two ways of zooming. For a stepped zoom, use the scroll wheel of your mouse. For a more control type of zoom, press down the control key and right-click. Parallel views cannot be rotated by default. To pan, simply right-click. And to zoom, you can use the scroll wheel of your mouse or press down control and right-click. Display modes are different options for Rhino to display the geometry in the viewport. You can access these options through the Display Toolbar or by clicking on the title of the viewport and selecting a different option. Wireframe makes the objects completely transparent. You understand their shape thanks to the surface edges and internal ISO curves. Shaded mode renders them completely opaque. The objects inherit the color of the layer they're in. Rendered mode is a visualization tool that shows the different materials that have been applied to the objects, creating quick photorealistic images. Artistic mode produces sketch style images. Ray trace mode is a real-time path tracer. Similar to rendered mode, it adds more advanced options such as real reflections and refractions.